one of the most common questions I get is, how can I have the AI write less like an AI and more like me, more like my style? We all have different writing styles. And I'm not talking about AI words. There's already a feature inside of ZenWriter to nuke AI words, your delve, your dive, and things like that. So I'm not talking about AI words. I'm just talking about the style of the writing, the humor that's involved, all right? The sentence structure, the vocabulary, the, the word choices. Is it a 10th grade word level or is it an eighth grade word level? All of these factors affect the writing style, but it's hard, especially if you have multiple websites with multiple styles, it's hard to, to dial that in with an AI as it writes. But now you can with the style mimic inside of ZimWriter. You can create up to a thousand different styles for all your different blogs, all your different clients or whatever, and then select them whenever you want to write in that particular style. Let me show you how it works. So we'll open up ZimWriter, and the style mimic feature is in the bulk writer, the SEO writer, the penny arcade. If you don't know what the penny arcade is, you can put in up to a thousand URLs and summarize those. So uh, that's called the penny arcade. And then product roundups, if you're doing like a top 10 products or whatever, the style mimics in there too. But we're gonna look at the bulk writer right now and you'll see this button called style mimic. Open it up and the first thing I want you to do is click on this directions link and it will bring up the style mimic directions page that has more information that I'm not gonna cover in this video in it. It's definitely uh, worth your time reading. But you'll see in the mimic menu, a style to mimic box where you can feed in up to 40,000 characters that you want the AI to mimic. And you can, and this can be anything you want. This can be a, a text document, this can be a Word document, a web page, your web page, a competitor's web page, whatever you want. Again, we're, we're mimicking the writing style of this. So I have this blog post I wrote here, and I'm gonna just take the content from here and put it right inside here. Now it's not that long. There's other blog posts I wrote that are longer. Again, the longer the better, but we'll run with this. Now, the model you choose down here is the model that it's gonna to use to generate the mimic. So in a way, you might wanna use a higher end model like GPT-4 Turbo or GPT-4 as opposed to GPT-3.5. So we'll check uh, GPT-4 Turbo, and then you press Generate Mimic. Yep, let this generate. So the mimic is right in a style that is conversational, informative, and slightly playful. Uh, that's pretty accurate. Suitable for readers at a high school level. The sentences are a mix of medium and occasional long length, utilizing commas for clarity. The tone is balanced with a tone of a touch of enthusiasm, engaging the reader through varied sentence structure. Detailed explanations are provided without overwhelming complexity, and light humor is used sparingly to maintain reader interest throughout the text. I really like that actually. So we can give this mimic a name now. I'll call this mimic of Matt one. I'm gonna call it one because we're gonna generate this again. I don't wanna lose this because we, we can't edit this. This is our mimic now, so we'll save it. Now it's in there, mimic of Matt one. But now what we can do if we want is we can generate this again if we want to. So we'll put generate mimic. So write in the style that's informative, instructional, casually engaging, utilizing accessible vocabulary, light humor at a two out of 10 rating, details provided at a seven out of 10 level. This is cool too. So I'm actually gonna call this Mimic of Matt 2. So I have two different variations in here. I'll save the Mimic. And then what we can do, right now we've loaded Mimic of Matt 2. If we wanna load Mimic of Matt 1, we just click this right here. Click this right here to load number two. Right now, number two is loaded. And then as we will put in our blog post title, like how to get more backlinks in there, we'll configure our options. And then as we write this, it will use that mimic. Now we can look at the output. If we don't like the output, if we don't like the style that it's writing in, we come up here and we just load a different mimic. Right, load that one now. And now that one's loaded. All right, if you don't like the mimics, you can come in here and you can delete the mimic. But you can also regenerate and then update the mimic if you want to. And we can call this like default now or we could regenerate and then rename this. And we can say update mimic, and now it's called default. So that's how mimics work. I'm really excited to hear how you guys are using them, how you're liking them. If you do uh, like all this, or you have a question, drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Please subscribe, like the video. There's links to ZimWriter down below. There's links to the Facebook group. If you haven't joined it, there's over 12,000 people in the Facebook group, very thriving community. Even if you don't get ZimWriter, join the group. Other than that, hey, thanks for watching. Good luck with your content generation. And I'll talk to you later.